What's up, YouTube? Um, gonna show you guys a tutorial on how to get around the black screen that you get. <clears throat> I watched a bunch of tutorials and it was not the solution that I needed, so hopefully this can help you guys out because it was ticking me off for quite a while. Um, so basically, all you need to do is get letter bomb, um, mod your Wii. You guys have probably already done that if you got GX loader and you're uh, just trying to figure out why it keeps giving you a black screen whenever you start it up. This is what um, I needed to do. All you need to do is go to your Wii settings, internet, and connect to the internet. Then you guys should have um, D2X custom iOS uh, installer on your SD card. So when you put it into your uh, Wii, you just open up the homebrew channel. You know what, I'll, I'll uh, at least do that. <clears throat> it's exiting right now, hold on. Okay, so just in case you guys aren't familiar with this. Um, so you're gonna go straight back to the channel. What I'm talking about is uh, when you go to Wii settings, go you want to go to the internet portion because you're gonna to have to have an internet connection in order to see I've got mine connected now um, but you have to have that internet connection in order to open up homebrew channel to go to the d2x yeah d2x iOS or C iOS installer we're gonna open that up <clears throat> See what I had done was I had reformatted the Wii because <clears throat> my little brother updated it and I was pretty naive, didn't know how to do it, um, how to get around the update, so I made it harder for myself. But you want to go to CIOS. Uh, beta 52, D2X, V10, Beta 52. You want to go to your CIOS base, send that to 55, and you want to keep this on 249. CIOS revision, we want to be 65535. So once those are done, and you have the inter internet connection, because remember this isn't going to work if you don't have it, go to 249, because that's the block we selected, and then boom downloading. See this is why we needed to have the internet connection is because we're downloading directly from uh, D2X server. So that's the only way this is going to work. There's going to be two iOS's already put on these blocks. So once this is done loading, we're going to have to just switch it to uh, base, I think 56 and then um, yeah, block 50. 250. So this shouldn't take but a moment. I'll show you guys the rest of it. Okay, and we'll just click this again. That way it'll take us back to the screen. Again, send it to base 56, 250, and boom. And that's pretty much it. Whenever you guys uh, get done installing it on both of the memory blocks, which uh, I'm, I might as well just show you guys. Just want to take a minute. Hey! <laughs> Hey, get off of there, you freaking turd. Yeah, so I was researching other fixes, but they weren't actually fixing the problem. <clears throat> this is a rather simple mistake I made. I'm trying to save some people from making the same one, because uh, I endured a lot of frustration through this. Okay. And we're done here, we're gonna hit B. Exit out of here. Okay. 
again, we can go to USB loader GX. And I'll show you guys another fix. Hey, get quit. Uh, okay, so now that we're in USB loader GX, I'm gonna go to loader settings. You wanna make sure you have force NTSC on because that's the, um, it's pretty much the visuals you're gonna have. I hate you. I hate you right now, you know that? But. Okay, yeah, it didn't make me look stupid. It worked. Good, okay, bye.